Hello everyone. So, today I have something to share with you guys. Okay, so one of the first things that I want to share with you guys is this. Okay, so how many of you can actually tell me what is this? All right, I'm not gonna keep you guys in suspense. So let me take this off and show you. For many people, this may look familiar, especially to many of our classic folks out there. But for many of the youngsters nowadays, this is a very e ancient instrument that was once used to measure temperature. So essentially, this is a thermometer. But nowadays, we don't even use this anymore. So what do we use? Well, let's progress a few years and voila! What do you think this is? Again, this is a thermometer, except this one is digital. As you can see, there has been a very steady progression. Now, again, that's not where we stop. So, next we have another thermometer, except this one is even more high tech. This one, you don't even have to have it near your body. You can use your ears, you can use your forehead, you can use any kind of non-physical element as well. But that is also a thing of the past. Because now, what we have is the new and latest infrared non-contact, and it even says touchless, thermometer. So today, I'm actually going to show you guys this new thermometer that I ordered from Amazon, which has become extremely relevant in days of late, especially due to what's happening around the world with the pandemic, with everyone getting sick. This is actually a vital tool that should be in any and every household. Not only does this measure temperature and give a pretty accurate reading, but this one, you also don't need to have any kind of contact to get done. So let's open this up and let's see what's in it. Okay, all right. So first we have a certificate of conformity, which I believe is just something that they include within the product so there's that we also have the instruction manual so this is actually very handy and very short instruction manual as you can see you can see all of the descriptions very clearly laid out here's a description and a display of what to expect from the product itself this one includes what kind of batteries it needs the relative humidity the power supply measurement range, measurement accuracy, which is very knowledgeable information that you should know. Here is an instruction for how to use it. As you can see, one of the things you need to make sure before applying the thermometer or using it is that you need to let the person or object to get at least 20 minutes in that environment before measuring. It also says, please don't get the item under the sun, fire, or water. So that's a pretty important note because this is not waterproof. It also says you can measure the temperature from the backside of the earlobe when there is too much sweat on the forehead, which is convenient, especially if you know people who might be sick or are having a fever or any kind of medical emergency or a situation where their forehead is inaccessible. That's a pretty good place to know where you can apply this thermometer as well. Again, here are some more instructions about this. All right. Here are some notes, safety notes, about how to store and how to keep the thermometer safe and in use. So yeah, this is a very pretty convenient, nifty little tool that I think every household should have, uh, should have actually, especially now with everything going on. So yeah, we do have that and it's called a non-contact infrared forehead thermometer. So there's that. And last but not least, this is our product itself. So as you can see, it's not that big and it's very portable. So if you need to carry it with you, um, especially if you're traveling, if you need to just keep it handy with you in a bag or a purse, this is very easily uh, carried and easily portable as well. So which makes it very convenient to have with you. 
and it also doesn't have an extremely overwhelming amount of buttons instead there are only three uh, one of them is set which you can use to set either the temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius there's a memory plus or minus location storage there here's the monitor or the screen and this is the trigger which is pretty cool seems like something you would only see in a sci-fi movie but nowadays this is what we're using so you know i'm really excited to see how this works so let's see and again this is where we're going to have to put in the batteries you see there's an arrow coming out so we would essentially have to pull it out and open it up and this is where we're going to add batteries judging by the size of the battery location here it's going to be triple a batteries and there's only two of them so it doesn't seem like too much of a hassle so we're going to get the batteries in right now so i do have the batteries and alrighty so i have inputted the batteries right here as you can see, well, hopefully I can get you guys to see. Yep, the batteries have been inserted right there. Okay, so I have the batteries in right there. And now, as you can see, it's turned on. And you can just click on the trigger. So this screen will show you the temperature of anything you point at. Now, here's the cool thing. If you click on set, you can choose if you want if you want to check out the temperature of a body which you see right there or you can choose to see the temperature of an object now what i found useful is that i can also use this when i'm checking the temperature especially when i'm cooking now i know that there are specialized kitchen thermometers and uh, kitchen materials that you can use for checking the temperature when you're baking when you're cooking but I find that using this, which is, even though it's a surface thermometer, it's really helpful, especially if you're doing anything in regards to frying and you need that perfect temperature. So if you look at one of my previous videos where um, I was making cheese sticks, which I'll put the link up in the description or in the eye, so if you want to see that video, please take a look there. But when I was doing that, I needed to know what the temperature of my oil was before I put in any of the sticks. Otherwise, I would have the cheese melting out. But I realized that if I had this, I could have just zapped the oil there and I could have gotten a pretty accurate reading, reading about when I can put in my sticks. So, as I said, there are so many ways to use this thermometer and it's very useful, especially now. And now I'm going to demonstrate one use of it. So let's try it on the table, which is an object, which you guys can see that the object is lit. And then I'm going to click on the trigger right here and zap it is a cool 76.8 now if i were to switch the setting from object to body see what this says it says that's a low temperature for a human body and that's true so sometimes you might need to know whether someone has hypothermia or if someone's you know if or if an object is too cold or too hot this is the perfect way to tell which one you're looking at first of all and what is a perfectly normal range temperature for the body so again it does light up in various ways so green indicates that usually it's on the cooler side of things yellow means that it's going to a hotter range and finally red means that it's definitely hot something you need to be worried about if it's not an object and even if it is an object then red also indicates that you know it's pretty hot to the touch so let's see if we can try this and demonstrate it on a few different other objects Okay guys, so in front of me, I have three different liquids of three varying temperatures. This one is normal water, this one is lemon tea fresh off the stove, and this one is cold water from my fridge. So now we're going to test and see how well the thermometer can do a reading on these, okay? Let's see. So first of all, I'm going to see if I can set it to the correct thing. So for now, it's going to be an object. So I'm going to switch it to object. And now I'm going to point it at, I'm going to click the trigger, and I'm going to point it at the normal. 75.2. Okay, seems pretty accurate with my temperature, which is around 76. Okay, next one. Let's again put it at object, which you can see right there point it at uh, my hot tea 
106.6. There you go. Again, I'm gonna give it object, switch it, and this is the cold water, 53.1. As you can see, we did get the readings and they were pretty accurate, so I'm pretty impressed. This seems like a pretty nifty thing and I wouldn't mind using it, whether it's in the kitchen or whether it's for checking people's temperatures, especially now and when you have guests over. This seems like a non-intrusive way of getting everyone's temperature checked before allowing them into your house. All right. All right, guys. So as I've mentioned, now we are in a certain time of pandemic of global awareness of what's going on, especially due to the COVID-19 virus, which makes it extra important for us to maintain that social distance, practice safe skills, especially when we're handling physical contact with other people, which is why, as I've said previously, that this thermometer is an essential tool for any household and I will recommend that any household, especially with kids involved, use this because through this thermometer, which I have right here, you won't be having to do any sort of physical contact at all. So this one is something that deals with infrared sort of contactless temperature readings. In that case, you will be able to get your reading without having to do any kind of touch or any kind of physical contact, which makes it even more convenient because physical contact is a very key way for any sort of virus, whether it's the flu or COVID-19. Anything can spread through physical medium, which is why it's very important for us to practice these safe measures. So now I'm actually going to demonstrate this on an actual human so you guys can actually see how this is done. All right, so now I'm going to test it on him. I have it set on body, which you can get to by pressing set. Then I'm going to press the trigger and point it at him. And there you go. I got a 97.1.